Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's Token Boss interview. We have one of the presenters of Crypto VIP, the event today, Mr. Sang Lee, the CEO and founder of Dark Matter. Welcome. Thank you for having me. <laughs> so, could you give a brief introduction about yourself and how you got into the crypto business? Sure. So, um, I actually come from a financial engineering background. Um, then I became a recovering investment banker. Okay. Um, so I was actually very close with the financial crisis, mm -hmm. as well as the regulations around the Jobs Act, which created some of the deregulation, which allow a lot of fintech companies to exist today, oh. including ourselves. And so that was the genesis of my idea, as well as how we started our company. So about the crypto, how long have you been in the crypto business? You know, it's kind of funny. So when we started our company in 2013, mm -hmm. um, we wanted to build a blockchain-based system uh, for our platform. So before we introduce the company, tra traditional financial services is kind of old-fashioned and very antiquated. Um, so you have to introduce certain technologies in piecemeal solutions, one at a time. Uh, too much innovation creates fear, it creates risk. So what we decided to do was build a platform first, have people use the platform, and then today transition into the blockchain. We started our project in early 2017, um, but our roadmap always had it built in. So it kind of curious me, uh, where did the name Dark Matter actually come from? Um, so before I was a recovering investment banker, I was an aspiring astrophysicist. <laughs> and uh, Dark Matter was actually my field of study. So Dark Matter in physics, while the name is kind of scary, is actually one of the elements that basically create the laws of the universe. But we can't really see it. We can't detect it. We know how the math works, but we're not sure how it really behaves. <laughs> and I think financial services is a lot like that. We know it's very important. We interact with it every day. Mm -hmm. But if you were to ask somebody how the system actually works, I think there are very few people who actually understand it. <laughs> That's a very uh, accurate name description of finance. It's, I mean, finance industry. Yeah. So could you explain about your platform and how it works? Sure. So Dark Matter is an award-winning global fintech platform that connects fund managers and investors from all around the world. Right now, fund management and most of asset management is very old-fashioned. You have to do paperwork, you have to meet people, and you need relationships to find the right opportunities. We've streamlined that and we're making it completely transparent. If you're an investor in Korea trying to find an opportunity in the United States, it's almost impossible right now, and we want to change all of that. So that's why you built Dark Absolutely. Matter. <laughs> Absolutely. So how does the Dark Matter coin economy, yeah. coin economy work? How sure, work? sure. So right now, the actual asset management industry, or finance as a whole, doesn't really care about the whole ecosystem. They only care about the trade, or selling a product, or okay. somebody spending money, basically. <laughs> but the token system basically allows you to create skin in the game, if you will. So both investors and fund managers have to use the token to unlock smart contracts. Mm -hmm. So instead of using paperwork, when you interact with each other, you have a transparent and blockchain-based system, and you're paying for that functionality instead of paying a lot of money to intermediaries and people that are basically brokering the transactions. Oh. So finance, it's really deeply related with regulations. Correct. And blockchain currently is indeed. Correct having trouble with regulations Correct. itself. Correct. So do dark matter comply with current fintech security infrastructure such as KYC or AML maybe? Absolutely. So our system is already SEC regulated. Oh. Uh, we are a US broker dealer. Um, our system automatically does KYC and AML. Our, our token offering is also being done as a US SAFT, mm -hmm. uh, which is a US-based uh, securities instrument mm -hmm. that allows US-based accredited investors to invest, but international investors do not need to be accredited um, in order to participate in our token sale. Um, I think the regulations and a lot of the FUD, if you will, um, in blockchain and cryptocurrency comes from the lack of understanding of why regulations actually exist and what causes regulations to come up. And it's really about protecting the investors. It's protecting the capital markets. And in reality, we don't view regulations as a bad thing. Sure, it slows things down a little bit, but if you actually do it in a very, very thoughtful way and you use technology like Dark Matter does to streamline the process, regulation doesn't become a scary thing. It actually becomes a set of rules that you and I can play by. So now we know the rules of the game. Without regulations, you end up playing baseball and basketball on the same field. <laughs> and you think you're winning, but you're not really sure how this is going to end up. Of course, of course. <laughs> So the small-time investors such as, uh, how would you describe yeah. it, small-time investors, 
Will they be able to take part in your platform? Yeah, I mean, that's really the vision, right? The vision right now is because asset management concentrates on big money investors and institutions because it's very, very hard to comply with regulations in a cheap way or in an efficient way without getting in trouble. So that's why a lot of small investors are cut out of the system. When we use a blockchain-based system and use tokenized assets, you can actually create these value parcels. I call them value parcels. So instead of using big documentation stacks, all you need to really understand is the smart contract that's built into each investment contract, yeah. right? Which means if I have an investor that has 10 million versus an investor that has $100, me as the fund manager or the asset manager, it's actually the same thing. So I can do it as efficiently across the board. So I can give the same access to the individual investor that I can to the institutional investor. So can our audiences, yeah. can our audiences in Korea also yeah. take part in your project? So I won't speak to Korean regulations. Um, <laughs> I, I know what the regulations are in the US. You know, we're very familiar with it. And usually most regulations follow the United States financial <laughs> services regulations. It's a US SAF document, right? So it's a US instrument is a securities instrument, but the token itself is not a security. It's, good. it's a utility token, but the structure with which it's being done allows for investors all around the world to participate. Um, how the tokens will be governed in the future, once again, I won't comment to that, um, but what I will say is the token itself is a utility token, um, and as long as you comply with Korean laws, um, any investor can participate. So since you're a financial analyst or financial expert, the market has currently been a bit depressed. Sure. Could you give your current outlook on yeah. the cryptocurrency market? So, you know, I don't think about the market as bullish or bearish right now. I really think about it in terms of volatility, right? And volatility is driven by the fact that it doesn't have enough money yet. That's how finance oh. people think about things. When things move a lot, it's because it's not big enough, mm -hmm. right? If you think about a big animal versus a small animal, you can push the small animal around, but a big animal you can't. So if, when you create a bearish situation in cryptocurrency, it's A, because of FUD, or B, it's because there are bigger movers that are able to move it down. Mm -hmm. So right now there are some institutions in the United States that are participating very actively, uh, without naming names, in cryptocurrency. That causes these market fluctuations. Um, if you believe in the system and what blockchain will do for financial services, these short-term price changes don't actually matter. Mm -hmm. And the laws and the rules around responsible investing apply everywhere, right? In, in the U.S., as an example, it's very hard to borrow money to invest. Mm -hmm. That's considered mo illegal in most situations because they don't want to run into a situation where investors lose all their money plus the debt that they borrow. So I think what ends up happening is if you think about blockchain as a long-term <laughs> investment or even a medium-term investment, 12 to 18 months, the situation is fine, right? Um, I know everybody expected that this week, I'm not a consensus, but this week everybody expected that prices would go up because it was consensus. But I think there are new dynamics at work that people need to understand, which is unfortunately or fortunately, Wall Street's getting involved. Oh. And when Wall Street gets involved, things will act a little funny um, <laughs> until it becomes very, very large. Uh, since you're taking part in our crypto VIP tour, yeah. how's Korea treating you so far? You know, we already have an office in Korea, oh, so really? I'm here quite often. Uh, we work with the financial institutions out here to help them access investment opportunities all around the world. Um, you know, I think Korea has a very unique opportunity to become the leader in blockchain and crypto technologies. Um, I think regulations will play a part in that, <laughs> um, a responsible regulation. And I mean responsible from the side of government. Um, not just trying to create catch-all rules, mm -hmm. but being really meaningful in what they want to protect and what they want to permit um, will be a very, very um, important next step uh, for Korea to become, I think, the, you know, maybe it's because I'm Korean, but uh, <laughs> the epicenter of all kind of blockchain technologies in the world. Uh, so thank you for a great interview, and thank do you. you have any last comments to our audience? No, I think, you know, I, I, it was a great talk, and like I said, I think the most focal point for us being here as a company as well as for part of the crypto VIP tour is that Korea has the opportunity to really stand out um, in a very noisy market, in a very, a very uh, congested area in Northeast Asia. There's China, there's Japan, but Korea has the unique opportunity to become a leader and we're looking forward to that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. That was Token Post interview and Mr. Sang Lee, CEO and founder of Dark Matter.